Hey everyone, this is Lucky7DX, and welcome back to Let's Play Mario and Luigi Partners in Time. In the last episode, we started in Toad Forest, and my character got killed, slash turned to a mushroom, and I run to an enemy. Uh, yeah, those little pipe things, they actually are enemies. Um, that's kind of why I showed this one. Unfortunately, Luigi falls down, so I'm sort of forced to fight, because I can't run away like I want to. Well, now I can. Uh, these things are called Lassopranas. I will show later, but here, uh, here's a good example of the wall badge and how, how much difference it makes. So you can see, I lost like five, I used about five coins as opposed to like 15 or 20 or so. So it does make a pretty significant difference, but you know, whatever, there's plenty of coins. I don't want to fight one of those things yet as a uh, baby, although I think I actually end up doing that pretty soon anyway. Um, but anyway, we're going to keep going. And, no, don't don't touch me. Don't touch me, boo guy. Uh, anyway, the Vim Factory's up there, but there are trees in the way. Toads are like, I'm dying, like I said last time, and that's pretty cool. Uh, but we're gonna go ahead and grab this item and make a run for it. There we go. Uh, there was a boo guy hidden behind a tree. I was like, you know what? I'm so close to getting a level. Let's go ahead and get it. So, level up. Don't need to see those enemies. We already saw them. And let's try to get more than one power for these characters now. I mean, jeez. Mario always, I mean, I know, I know Mario has six extra experience because he had that uh, fight with the Junior Shrewboid, but he always seems to get the level beforehand, which is just kind of weird. It's always, like, in that split between, like, oh, there we go, extra power for baby Mario. That's what I like to see. Can we get some for baby Luigi? Come on, come on. Come on. Hey, that's not bad. So, apparently the babies are getting a bunch of power and the adult bros aren't. Watch me, watch me get all the stats for like the babies and none for the adult bros ever, and the babies will end up being stronger by the end. That would be such a crazy thing to happen. That should never happen, but that would be pretty awesome. I was strong as a little baby, then I grew up and I became a weak, fat plumber. How sad. Anyway, uh, there's a bunch of little doohickey things around here. Uh, what we're going to do is we need to throw the babies in here, and they need to go on a bit of a journey on their own for a little bit. Which kind of sucks because there are enemies in here, so I'm gonna try to avoid them. We'll see what happens. But you want to hit all these little fire things down here, and it'll shoot the fire out of the little tubes, and the fire will go there. Now, don't bother do anything with the big bros yet. Uh, just go get all the. Fi I like to just go go get all the fire first. Usually a good time. Uh, actually, I don't think it makes that much of a difference if you do it. If you hit, it doesn't make a difference actually. But I want to do it. Anyway. Uh, damn it, last surprise. Go away, go away, go away. Okay, good, good, good. Don't like you, last Prana. You're pain in my butt. There's a toad up there trapped in a tree. Oh, those poor toads being used as fuel sources. Uh, well, I couldn't avoid that one. At this point, I'm like, you know what? Screw it. I'll just fight it now. Of course, if you're fighting the babies, usually a good idea just to use uh, your bro items to get as much damage as possible. I mean, you get plenty of green shells and bro flowers. Well, actually, yeah, you want to use green shells. Myself. I think these guys are actually pretty immune to fire, so uh, you won't be able to do too much damage to them if you using fire. But, yeah, I get a good 16 damage there. I mean, that's usually the max you're gonna get for the babies, especially if only- you, you get 16 hits, so if I'm doing one damage to the babies, I'm only gonna get 16 damage total. Uh, but I think two of these will finish off a, a last of Prana, or get pretty close to it. I forget how exactly how much health these guys have. Um, would be nice so I can show off their attack, though. Come on, don't kill it! Okay, good. Okay, yeah, they have more than 32, so unfortunately can't kill them in one round. But, uh, yeah, that's so what they do is they go up from the top screen there, and they shoot a fireball down. Uh, in cases like that, it's really just easy to just jump with both bros, and... Wow, he only has three health left. Waste of a green shell! Uh, usually it's just a good idea to go... Hey, you get bro flowers on To, uh, just jump with both bros. Uh, that way you don't have to look and see which one, you know, he's aiming at. Just go for it, because it's kind of hard to tell which one he's aiming at, because when he's that high, the angle sort of looks the same. But anyway, Last of is cool. I mean, it... The, they make good use of having two screens at times like that, which is pretty nifty. I, I do applaud that, that's pretty cool. Uh, that and the bro tax, you know, as you saw Cannibal always uses make use of the top screen as well, and others will in the future as well. But anyway, we got all the fire now, so time to be a Oh, whoa, 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 get out of there, stupid chameleon thing. Nobody likes you, especially me. But anyway, uh, you can use some fire here, and basically it all goes into the center one here. And you are charging your fire, you're charging your fahi, you're charging your pyro, your burn. And good stuff will happen. That's right, we're going to burn down to Wood Forest. Problem, Smokey the Bear? Problem? That's what I thought. Where are you, Smokey? The troops already kidnapped Smokey. Smokey's already been defeated long ago. Anyway, so. The fire goes, and it burns down the trees, and somehow only those trees and not the rest of the forest. Shouldn't the entire forest catch on fire? 
shouldn't the woodland creatures be in peril and Sonic the Hedgehog have to rescue them because he loves his woodland creatures? I don't know. My commentary is all over the place today. I love it. Anyway, we're gonna bring our babies over here. I wasn't sure if there was a pipe or not. Uh, one of those little warp pipes. So I just oh, there was right there. Okay, well I didn't need to actually take the babies out of there. Whatever. No baggy. So, part one of Toad Force complete. Let's go on to part two. Why is there a pipe in the forest lead to a non-pipe of the forest? Who knows? That's just the way this game works. But gee, that map up there sure does look menacing. Uh, now this part, well, hey, it's another toad. Factory head, no really, I can kind of tell my map, unless, you know, those giant claw things and the purple shrew sort of icons, you know, just, that, that, that can't possibly be, you know, the, the factory, no. Hey, another prana guy here. I hate when there's pranas in my stumps, I just want my money, come on. Alright, well this one should have some stuff in it. Good stuff, please. Hey! Ooh! Unarmed jeans! Those work the exact same way as the wild trousers do, and the fact that they give you power instead of defense. I think I equip it to Baby Mario? Um, yeah, I do. Once again, I'm not sure if this is actually a, a good idea, but I'm like, you know what, I want, let's differentiate the bros. Well, actually, it's a better idea than the other ones, because this is only a 12 defense drop than a 20 defense drop, so that's not as bad. Uh, also, I mean, your babies usually aren't attacking anyway, so if you're boosting just their power for, you know, the jumps or bro attacks when you're fighting as a group, always a good thing. Hey! Um, first time to do a, as a loss of prana for the big bros. I think I'll show this. Oh, that and I, I just remember now. I'm an idiot. Uh, so, one thing you should know about the bro flowers. They do not work on the metal prana plants, and they do not hit enemies in the air. So... This was just absolute fail. I do one damage and I miss everyone else. Yeah, don't use green shells or fireballs on flying enemies. They do not work. It is a bad idea. Cannonballers will work. Other items that we'll get later will work, but the ones that we have right now, flying, I mean, they're, they're boo guys. They're not that hard to beat anyway. Don't worry about it. Uh, but yeah, just epic fail there. But you know what? We'll just make our do. I mean, yeah, boo guys have pretty low health. Well then. Mario just does a ton of damage now because he has those pants on, which is nice. Compare the difference here, it's 10 versus 7. That's a 3 point difference, it's actually pretty major for just 5 power. Well, then Mario just naturally has more power anyway. Uh, but yeah, we'll just, we'll just go ahead and finish up these enemies and we will move on. I do like the Alasa Piranha, it is a cool, I, I think it is a pretty cool enemy. Kind of weird there's like a Piranha hiding in a pipe like that. It also moves back and forth in case you couldn't tell, so uh... The angle always is kind of different anyway, which is why it's just better to jump with both rows, I find. That usually can help you dodge a bit better. I'm getting item items all over the place, which is a good thing, because the more items you get, the better. Uh, but yeah, we want to go up here. Let's go up here! Alright, whoa! Shrew UFOs, they're totally ignoring us. Why are they not attacking us? I don't know. Are they blind? Who knows? Who cares? But we can't make it there because the platforms to there are down. Which makes sense because, you know, they have flying UFOs, why would they need to walk? So we have to go around and activate uh, a way to get in. Hey! Items! Oh, coins. I always, I always get too impatient and I walk away. You can't make it up there, we're gonna have to go around and get that L block. It's so tempting, I want it so badly! Oh well, I don't know why I'm getting so hyper over a stupid block. Actually, I think if I remember right correctly. But anyway, uh, now we have to do something a bit different. We have to go in this stuff and you have to use this little block here to uh, basically stop and start this platform for the big bros to move around down there. Once again, the cute, clever little puzzles you have to do in this game, I like them a lot. They're pretty nifty. But anyway, let's go get this L block. It is another wallet badge. This is precisely why I did not buy one for baby Luigi. You can find one pretty early on in this area. And we'll go ahead and give it to him now. Which, yes, you can actually equip uh, items onto any bro, even though they're separate. Doesn't matter if they're separate or not. Doesn't make a difference. Uh, I don't see why it should, it should be overly complicated. The one thing I want to make sure though is that uh, I, I would have your, your control over on these bros because uh, you, you want to be able to move and there's, so, there's often stuff down here on the platforms anyway, to obstacles to dodge. Because all you need to do is just press X to jump and immediately hit the switch anyway, so keep your control on the Mario Bros. And unfortunately I'm going to have to fight these piranhas on my own, which kind of sucks, but you know... The bros, the big bros can handle. The little bros, not so much. The big bros, though, they they can handle enemies like that. They're still pretty sturdy. Anyway, so 
the way we're going to get into the Vim Factory, we can use these little antenna tower things. Um, but unfortunately, we need all our babies back, so where is that warp pipe? It is right down there. Okay. Hit it, and baby, come back. You can blame it all on me. There we go. Uh, well, let's go in the stump first. I like stumps. They have money. They have cool shit. Who doesn't like cool shit? I like cool shit. We are getting so many of those 100 coin things. Just, I love it. I love it. So much money, man. Uh, and there should be, an yeah, there's another one right here. Let's grab this too. And it's some bro flowers. Excellent. All right. So what you do is you do a little jump off baby Mario thing to, to do this. And it's basically just one big simultaneous block. Just Y X B A, and it activates. Not that hard to do. Uh, and there we go. So one of the little hands is glowing all red and creepy like, and that's good. I mean, that means it's on, I guess. I'm not sure why. Why would they have, you know, if they, if they if they go through all the trouble to keep people like locked out, why the heck do they go ahead and damn it? Get out of here, Last of Prana. Jeez, what the heck? Go away. Hey, another level. Wow, that was fast. Uh, I think it's HP's turn. Yeah, HP. Give me some good. Give me some good. Ooh, -hoo, four. Finally, we're getting some good stuff on this stats roulette here. That's all I like to see. Want to get better stats, man? It's all. It's what's all about. But yeah, why would you have like a you know, little antenna things that make it so you can, uh, you know, so you can get through, uh, so other people can get, can get in? Just destroy your stupid antennas and lock people out, dude. You have UFOs. There's no reason to have a ground pathway. Oh, video game logic. Why do I, oh, yeah, okay, there's nothing down there. I thought there could be maybe something down there. There's a section later on where there's stuff down there, but not over here. Anyway, so you have little, uh, platform. It's, it's very reminiscent of Super Mario 64 on those moving platforms, because they had a lot of sections like that where there's, like, you know, obstacles that the platform would go under where you'd have to jump over. I mean, it's very, very, very basic platforming. You're not going to see any sort of crazy platforming in this game, because you really don't have any good platform mechanics. What the heck? I need to get... No, okay, I need to actually get on the platform first. Jeez, come on. What the heck? Uh, uh See, that's what I hate, is when you stop it, it goes... It starts that cycle all the way back up at, the, like, the... Heading up one, which is just really silly sometimes. See, the way a while to actually go to the left or down, which is kind of silly, but oh well. And now the board press is going back. Yeah, we're going to be seeing these platforms quite a lot. They like using this little mechanic. But anyway, babies, ho! Alright, you'd think jumping up a spring from that high would, you know, kind of, you know, hurt babies as they land, but apparently not. Uh, so... Where you need to go in these... Well, okay, let's grab, let's grab this. One-up mushroom. One-up mushroom's always good. Especially if I'm stupid and end up dying. Hey, more coins. I want my money! Yeah, as you can see, you have plenty of time to reach those coins, so... To, I mean, it's really hard not to get them. Just, be, just you know, don't wait too long. It, it's a short time limit, but it's not that. It's not short where it's a problem. Like, oh, come on, really? I missed that one. It's such an easy puzzle and I missed it. Why? Oh, well. What can you do? So with that, the shoe factory is now open for business. Let's go invade it! Let's go save the toads from being drained. Who cares? There's toads. All they do is tell us that our princess is in another castle. You know what? I don't care. I don't care if our princess is in another castle. Stop making fun of me. I just want to show quickly here. If you jump into the spikes, you will get sent back to the beginning. It doesn't hurt you, just sends you back to the beginning, so... You can do that, obviously. You can get out of the platform, so do be careful. Bad things will happen if you mess up. Anyway, so down here is going to, there's actually quite a, items, a, lot of few, a few items in this section, so uh, be sure to explore it thoroughly. Always a good idea to grab as many free items as you can because it's free shit. I mean, come on. Who doesn't like free shit? I like free shit. I f <laughs> okay, free shit. Exactly one coin. Wow, that was exciting. Uh, see, sometimes I hate the platform mechanics because, just like I said, it, re it resets it up when you stop it accidentally like that, or you stop it too early, so you have to wait all the way again, it's just kind of silly. Anyway, more items here, let's grab bro flowers, and come on, something good. As you can see, you get so many bro flowers in this area, though, really, there's no reason to ever buy, there's, I mean, there's a few reasons to buy items, especially because some of the later ones uh, don't show up for a while, but in general, you just buy a few, and the, re the game will literally just hand you the rest. Anyway, we get a second pair of wild trousers, uh, because... Yeah, there's actually you can actually get two pairs of wild trousers. Uh, I'm not gonna equip that one. Luigi one is my tank. I don't want him to be, you know. I, I want someone to be actually be able to take hits just in case I need to. I mean, Mario can go ahead and die, but 
Luigi, I'm, I mean, you, you, need, you need to make sure someone stays alive, you know? Oh, damn it! Ah, I messed time that jump. Oh well, whatever, the platform respawns there immediately, so you don't have to wait for a platform to show up again or bring it back, you just keep going. Not that big a deal. Anyway, two more items and then we will be on our way. Kind of a bit slow, I guess, this whole uh, platforming process, but what can you do? Soon we shall invade the Viv Factory, and everything will be awesome. Ugh, I can't go down, really? Really, that's like a pixel. That's like a pixel off. Them pixels, man. They just, they just hate me. Whatever. But one thing I do hate is in order to... One, one of the things I guess I'm annoyed about is in order to actually access the road, you have to press A or B, which will cause them to jump. Which is kind of annoying because some, when you're on moving platforms like this, sometimes it's not a good idea to jump. But, whatever, that's just what you have to do. Alright, so we need more our babies. Where are our babies? Uh, I don't even know where one of those... I think there's probably one, yeah, there's probably one up by the Vim Factory. I need a pipe! Oh, hi Toad! Talk to me, Toad! Oh, you wanna talk to me? Fine. Screw you, Toad! He's probably already dead. Probably already dead! Probably too late, we couldn't save the Toads, they're already dead! Anyway, it's time to invade the Vim Factory! But unfortunately, because I'm such a huge douchebag, this is where I'm gonna end the episode! Well, I'm gonna go save, but... Uh, yeah, in the next episode, we explore the dark depths of the Shroob's UFO Vim Factory thing! Oh my goodness, it's going to be crazy! It's going to be intense! We're invading their base! All their bases are belong to us! Um, let's go ahead and see the picture too. But yeah, this is Lucky7DX, signing out! The Vim Factory's been breached! We're going to do this! See you guys next time, bye bye!